Hello, Greedy here with another reaction. Hope you are well. Um, Alec Bartel, we're back again with him. Uh, we've got a double reaction today, uh, mainly due to um, Hey Teo. Everyone has been asking me to react to it, um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find it. But thankfully a couple of new subscribers have sent me a, a link um, with another version of it, which I'm going to react to first. Um, but because it's only about a minute long, I thought I would throw in a second reaction as well into the video to make the video a substantial size. Um, so we're going to do Hey Teo first, and then it's going to be followed by another one which has been recommended a lot by you, uh, you, you lovely people. Uh, Delova, I think it's called. Um, I don't know anything about it, so I'm going to get to that in a bit. But we're going to focus on Hey Teo first. Uh, mainly due to, I think it was Umar, a few, few people have mentioned um, this. Uh, there's something, he's got a, another trick up his sleeve and, you know, he always surprises me with these little little gimmicks that he has um, as to his individuality, shall I say. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be looking out for this. And someone's mentioned a Rubik's Cube as well, so very interested. So, right. Gonna get into the little corner, get into my little box, and we're gonna have a little listen to the first one. This is Hey Teo. Okay, got, he got me there. Wow, uh, one-handed. Um, I can't even do a Rubik's Cube two-handed, let him play guitar with one hand and do that. Um, right, so let me know where that originates from, that little little uh, catchy tune. Um, it'd be interesting to find out uh, where, where that came from and maybe hunt down the original somewhere and find out, because I quite liked it. Um, but yeah, the Rubik's Cube thing, I mean, <laughs> it's just showing off now. It really is just showing off. Um, right, uh, now we've got... Um, Next reaction, we've got one that's been recommended a lot. I don't know much about the, the song at all. I believe the song's called Once, um, and I believe the artist originally is called Delova. Not heard of them. Uh, him. I don't even know if I've got it correct. I don't know if the song's called Delova or things Delova. Let me know in the comments, you always do. Um, right, so gonna get back into the box, have a little listen to this one a bit more closely. I don't think he's gonna pull anything like a, any tricks out for this one. I think it's gonna be a uh, pure, reaction for this one so let's get comfy <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so that was once um, by the great Alibato. Uh, that was um, yeah, that was nice. I like really, really like that. That's uh, no gimmicks there. Just Alip doing what he does best, and that's just playing wonderful guitar. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was beautiful. Tell me more about that song. Um, that was really nice. I've got I have a little idea. I think. Uh, all these um, music you normally get when you're in a lift or when you're um, on hold, uh, when your phone and company's up and things like that, you should replace their background music to Alec Barta, I think. I think um, a lot more people will be less stressed and a bit more relaxed when they're having to wait, having that played in the, in the background. That'd be lovely, I think. Um, but no, um, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed both those. Both, both were very good uh, for different reasons. One, obviously, showing his excellence as a guitar player. And um, then the other one showing the funny side of, of Alep and um, his little tricks that he can do uh, that no others can really show off and do themselves. Um, anyway, do you usual in the comment section. Chat to you soon. See you again. Bye bye.